with mill turns, there's a lot of components on it that need to be defined. And in 2020, they've made it now user customizable. So the machines can be set up, modified, and altered without having to get the reseller involved at all. We've got libraries, tool locator libraries um, that we can use to kind of establish all the options and get the machine set up according to what we have available. I've got these machine files. Here's this generic Fanuc Milturn LTX machine. And if you double click the machine file, it's just going to open right up in Code Expert. That's where you can start messing with it. So this GMD uh, file, which is the component library in that machine, you could just double click it and it'll open it right up in Mastercam so that you can start working on it. Now, there's a whole new dialog that's new for this year that allows you to uh, modify and view those machine files directly. So here is my component library. Up on the right hand side, those are the items that I have available. And then on the bottom, those are the default components that are on my specific machine at the moment. And what I want to do is set up the components in my library. I'm going to add a few components as well here just to show you how that works. And then I'm going to set the defaults for my machine and save that information so that every time I use this machine, it starts out where I want it to start. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a new Chuck group for my library. So right click and say add a Chuck. Right click is going to be pretty much everything you need. We're calling this a new left chuck. Just give some numbers here for the sizing information. And set the width and the depth of the channel. And that channel depth and width and size, along with the size of the jaws, is going to compute where the jaw position is. This allows through stock. So I'll click OK. And now that new left chuck is available for me to use. Let me do one more. Uh, thing that I want to add. Actually, a couple more. I want to add some jaws to go along with these chucks. And so right-click on the jaws and add chuck jaws. So some new enhancements this year. Uh, this dialog is a lot easier to work with. I can set my thickness. And I've got the steps here. I can remove those steps and just set the diameter of these rectangular jaws. And notice how it previews the shape and size so I know exactly what's going on. Once you set all your parameters, and I'm going to give it a name, we'll call these my board soft jaws, you can also set where the part clamps, that reference point. This is an OD clamp, and my reference point is right there in the middle. And so now it's going to know exactly where to put my stock material when I grab these chuck jaws. We'll do it one more time. This one, these are pie jaws. So I specify the angle of sweep, the radius, the offset on the wedge, um, and then the step sizes. By the way, you can create as many step sizes as you want. Get these, let's see, 38 and uh, 1.5 on the height. Create a little step there to hold the part. And these are my right spindle pie jaws. This is what we're going to pull the part off with. OD clamping and our reference point for grabbing that part is right there. All right, looking good. So we've got all our options now set for the library. These are the chucks and the jaws that are available for us to use anytime we need to. Now, I want to change the defaults because I normally don't have this, these jaws on there down here at the bottom. And so what I want to do is come in here and remove some of these spindles. So I'm going to say delete the entire left chuck and all children components and just drag and drop. Nope, try again. A drag and drop from the library down here to the component. And there's my new left chuck. And then I can come in and grab any jaws I want. So we'll use these board soft jaws. That's now my new default components. So we'll click yes to save this to the machine. And now every time I use this machine, it's going to automatically grab those default preferred chucks and jaws. Now let's try this. I've got a part. I'm going to open it up, the mill turn part. 
And when I go and add the machine, because I haven't started uh, programming on this yet, when I go to add the Miltern machine, that Fnuc generic uh, LTX, it's going to bring up Code Expert and it's going to bring up that component library again. The same one we saw earlier, except it's going to bring it up so that I can review and make any changes needed. It's a very similar look, except it's only got the information that's actually applied. Um, now I can come in here and I can change things, like the setup type. Because I have two spindles, I can, you know, do the pick off uh, option on the setup. But if I take one of the spindles out, notice you can't pick off anymore. It knows what's going on with your machine configuration, and if you don't have uh, uh, through material or if you don't have a second set of jaws, it restricts the list. So let's put that right chuck back on, but then I'm going to use those right side uh, chuck jaws, the pie jaws, and I'm going to add those. So notice I don't have to use what the default is. I can change on the fly if I need to. This is going to be a single piece of stock with a pick off from the right jaws. And then all the rest of the information is kind of specified from that point down. So with the mill turn, you have the ability to build your library, to set your defaults, but then you can change on the fly with complete flexibility. This applies to not only the jaws and the uh, chuck, but also the tool locators in your mill turn turret. And if you'd like to continue learning about the Miltern Component Library, check out our next video on tool locators that helps you to see all the rest of what's capable in the 2020 Miltern Component Library environment.